basically what you're doing with this tool is you put a ratchet on one on the end of it it goes down the tube it goes into those collars and you are you are either tightening or loosening okay now give or take which way you got to go to get the proper backlash that you need you may tighten the passenger side a little more than the driver's side or vice versa so it's kind of a game to, to until you get it right and you get the number that you're shooting for now this is a cheap harbor freight uh, dowel indicator gauge as you see it's just a little clamp on vice grip kind i have it set up on the ring gear right now and we're shooting usually like six to eight thousand somewhere in there and you can see between the two tangs on the gauge is kind of the ballpark and if i rotate take that flashlight if i rotate the gear there we go you can kind of see where we're at so we're about a good seven What's up Mopar fam? As you can see we still got uh, Project Storm up here. We just put the True Track rear end limited slip in and we put all new bearings, carrier bearings, pinion bearings, all that because we had one bad as you've seen in the live video earlier. So we're going to do a quick down and dirty backlash adjustment, what you got to do more or less to get it right. Um, so we already got this one perfectly adjusted. So we're going to show you what it looks like and I'm just going to basically kind of go over the tools you need and what to do to get it as every single vehicle or truck's not going to be the same. There's not going to be a certain amount of turns on one side and a certain amount of turns on the other side across the board for every vehicle. They're all going to be different. Um, so I'm going to show you what you got to do and what you need to get it done. So here we go. First off, as you see, we have the axles out. We have our new True Track installed. We already have our main bearing caps uh, torqued down to spec. This is the special tool that, let me come out here in the light, that I actually built. Um, you can order these online. This is a special tool for the Rams. Um, this is what adjusts your rear end section to get the backlash that you need. Um, so as you can see, this is a piece of black iron pipe. I welded a bolt to one end so I could put a socket on it. Over here, I welded a uh, piece of galvanized pipe fitting. And I can't remember the exact size this is, but as you see, this is the hex that you need to fit inside the axle tube. And where's the flashlight? So inside the, the tube, your adjuster bearings or your adjuster collars they're way down there Let's see if that helps there you go so they're down there in the center I'm gonna try to zoom in there you go you see that hex so that's where that special tool goes there's one on each side passenger and the driver's side and basically what you're doing with this tool is you put a ratchet on one on the end of it it goes down the tube it goes into those collars and you are you are either tightening or loosening okay now give or take which way you got to go to get the proper backlash that you need you may tighten the passenger side a little more than the driver's side or vice versa so it's kind of a game to, to until you get it right and you get the number that you're shooting for now this is a cheap Harbor Freight uh, dowel indicator gauge. As you see, it's just a little clamp on vice grip kind. I have it set up on the ring gear right now. And we're shooting usually like six to 8,000 somewhere in there. And you can see between the two tangs on the gauge is kind of the ballpark. And if I rotate, take that flashlight. If I rotate the gear, there we go. You can kind of see where we're at. 
So we're about a good seven. I'll let Ryan kind of do it because I'm kind of shaking everywhere. So here we go. There you go. So back and forth. We're right there in our marks where we want to be. We're about a good seven. And that's pretty much what it is. It's a matter of the tool and moving in or pushing one out the adjustments on either side of the carrier. So that's pretty much a down and dirty setup of how to adjust the backlash. It's not hard um, at all. It's just, you know, one might be quicker than the other. It's just a little time consuming to get it, to get it right. Now, once you get the number you're looking for, okay, both of these collars that you're adjusting, they should be pretty close to fully tight. Um, obviously, when you get the number that you're looking for, and then you're going to torque those down to spec, both sides, and then you're going to recheck and make sure that after all your bolts, the, coll the locking collars, everything's torqued down, and you're going to recheck and make sure that your adjustment hasn't changed. Sometimes it will. You may have to tighten it up some more. You may have to loosen it up a little bit. That's the down and dirty version of basically adjusting the backlash on the ram rear ends. Uh, if you're doing, you know, a gear swap or you're doing the, the Eaton True Track. Uh, limited slip swap whatever so hopefully that helps you guys out and if you have any questions put them down in the comments we'll see if we can help you out other than that we'll see you guys on the next one true track and new bearings installed baby she's back alive going on a test run Over Tabor.